Hey guys, so this here bringing you another video. Now, welcome back to Back to Master, and today we're doing a replay episode. Um, so again, we've done these before, and most of you generally know why we do them. Uh, it's because, you know, in the game, I'm doing my thing, and then just something goes a bit poop, and it kind of just makes me go, ah, okay, I'm just gonna put some music on, chill out while playing this game. It doesn't look great, but then something might happen. Um, but again, it's worth showing, because how does those things happen? So, the enemy team has a Renekton Lee Sin, Syndra, and a Caitlyn Yumi. My team, Malphite, and worth noting, the Malphite was an autofill player. It was a support main, which, again, not having a go, but support mains generally are the weakest at being autofill because, you know, support is so different to all the other roles. Uh, you've got me playing Vi, and yes, I am jungling. We've got a Orianna in the mid lane. We've got a Lucian and Karma in the bot lane. So, the strengths of both teams. Strengths for a blur blue team, they've got a pretty good early game. So they've got a Renekton, obviously, Lee Sin, very good. Uh, they've got a Syndra, which is not bad. Um, you know, if she's good at controlling a lane, doesn't get punished in the early game, she could just have a nice game. And, you know, her name, Matter of Skill, I don't know if that meant that she was a one-trick, because doesn't Syndra say that, or something like that. Uh, Caitlyn Yumi, obviously having Yumi is going to give you a relatively strong lane phase, regardless. And then my team, so we've got the autofilled Malphite player, which, you know, he's 100% picking that. He's autofilled, he's just going to try and do useful ultimates, which is fair enough. I'm playing Vi. Um, in this matchup, you know, we played Volibear. I don't know if that video is going to come out first or second, but I played Volibear before this, and that game went well. I could have played Volibear again, but for the sake of, you know, something different, I, I played Vi. And, uh, you know, Vi is pretty good. Um, I didn't go for the Hail of Blades build, which a very good Vi will probably go. I didn't do that because I don't play Vi, you know. I'm, I'm going to go Aftershock because that's the more baseline Vi build. But definitely Hail of Blades is good if you know what you're doing. So my bot lane is already dead. And obviously that does show the general path of this game a little bit. Um, Orianna in the mid lane is already a little bit low. But they've been trading actively in the bot lane. And Lucian will respawn. He did die with uh, Flash Up, which is unfortunate. Um, he only healed, so I don't know if that could have saved him. Uh, but remember that the Caitlyn with the Yumi has only got... TP. She doesn't have a heal herself, the Yumi does, and obviously the Yumi used both of her summoners as well as the Caitlyn Flash, uh, but Lucian shouldn't really die that early. Um, not, not particularly anyway. So, also from memory, uh, if it serves correct, the duo on the enemy team was the Lee Sin and Syndra, if I, you know, if memory is correct. That, that's what the duos came. So I was starting that, and then I decided, right, I'm going to go over and help. Unfortunately, you know, she's very low. There's not much I can do at this stage. And the Lee Sin flashes over the top. Syndra also flashes. So there's nothing I could have done about that. And you can see the Orianna kind of spam raging. And now I'm smiting to get a bit of health. I go for the flash, but the Lee Sin auto attack gets me. So straight away, that does show like, oh dear. Um, I don't know why. Yes, the Orianna did rage at me a bit. Obviously, I don't have chat on, but there was a lot of spam pinging. She rages at me, which... What the hell could I have done about that? There was a double flash. She got caught out. We did also, by the way, know Leeson was in the area because we got vision of him. And she just kind of went, you know, she kind of beans it a bit. So that was unfortunate. That was kind of step one. So bot lane's dead. Both of us are dead. I lost my double buffs. Uh, and also Malphite is half in farm. So it's like, oh, geez, this game is pretty rough. Yes, it is. Um, but what this game, and again, what I'm tempted to title this video is something like early game isn't everything with Vi. Obviously, what early game gives you in general with League of Legends is security, in essence. Uh, it's security on you're stronger than the enemy team in the early game, and that's great. If you can use that to your advantage, it's fantastic. But what you also have to look out for when it comes to early game and or late game, and there's so much about it, is what is your comp like? It, you know, if you're winning the early game, but you're a late game team comp, well, that's kind of to be expected. If you're losing the early game and you're an early game team combo that's obviously pretty bad so lucian dies again but the caitlin also dies i'm thinking about this gank by the way um so i'm like mm, maybe but he is kind of half health there's a teleport which i'm like okay malphite at this stage by the way should just run i don't know why he stayed as much as he did i try to save him but yeah he's too low uh, now the Syndra teleporting top lane and boom, another double kill. So uh, I don't know why the Malphite didn't just run straight away as soon as we saw that TP. He stayed around if you actually saw it for a cannon minion. So that was a bit iffy. Uh, he's teleporting straight back. He should be relatively fine. So already you can see this game is a rough. Um, but again, got to keep going. You know, we've had episodes recently like the Swain episode. 
Uh, we even had the Ari one that was very close of getting us a win if we didn't have that kind of inting Yasuo. Um, and, you know, again, a lot of people, by the way, in that episode was like, you know, yes, he got camped in, in lane phase. I, I understand that. But by the end of lane phase, I think he had maybe six deaths. He ended the game with 12 deaths and he was literally going in by himself. The dude was, was inting. Um, and yeah, he was apparently a top 100 Yasuo in the world. But like Riot has provided data, Yasuo is one of the most like mental boom champions in the game. Uh, kind of like Draven, uh, they are the it's one of the highest percentage of mains that feed and int is Yasuo because that's what the champion it kind of is. Is you have to do well or you kind of feel useless. And that guy was having a bad game, so he just kind of embraced the tilt and died a lot. Um, anyway, bot lane they do trade, and that also leaves Karma to try and get the kill, and she gets it. So well played by her. So Lucian, by the way, has already died three times. Quite a lot of deaths coming out of him. Obviously, I've died twice to two relatively unfortunate players, you could say. Uh, the first one I shouldn't have died to, admittingly. I should have just left the Orianna die and just got out of there. I was trying to save her, but with the double flash and everything, just wasn't possible. I do get the Scuttle Crab, which is nice. And if you're wondering where my mental is right now, the way that I'm thinking... And I'm, by the way, I think I, by this point, I already stopped the YouTube commentary. And I was like, I'm just going just gonna to play music and just play the game and just recover that way. Because sometimes trying to win the game is more important than getting the live commentary, you know, YouTube video. In the end of the day, I should be a League of Legends player first, a YouTuber second. And that's why sometimes I stop the commentary and prioritize the game. I think it's important. Um, but my mind is objectives. Objectives might be the way, you know, if you watch the Volley Bear episode, I took over that game with objectives. Maybe that's the answer to this. So when you're a good player and you know scaling, good roam by Karma there, and you know the Karma's already playing quite well, you understand scaling. So Renekton versus Malphite. Arguably Malphite outscales Renekton, but obviously this is a support main, but in essence, we have the good ultimate from Malphite if it lands. Vi versus Lee Sin. I outscale Lee Sin. Mid lane, relatively even, but it depends the wombo that Orianna can get compared to a Syndra single target. But in essence, Orianna potentially can outscale a Syndra if we get a more than like two or three man ulti. Bot lane, yeah, Caitlyn outscales Lucian, but then Karma arguably is also very good and they've got a Yumi that is also easy to catch. But then if you look deeper into that, not just the scaling, what does our team comp have? Lucian does die again. He, by the way, randomly tried to 2v1 the enemy bot lane a lot this game. It was borderline inting as well, but whatever. Um, we have a Wombo. So we have Malphite, we have Vi, we have Orianna, with also Karma. Lucian's kind of just like the, the, the spice on the end that if he does something great, it's not 100% needed though. Um, but yeah, we have a Malphite engage with an Orianna roll, or a Vi engage with an Orianna roll. And then on top of that, again, this is all the, by the way, the stuff that you do in your mind uh, when you're doing good in solo queue. So all of what I'm saying, I already know while I'm playing this game of League. You know, I've already thought about this. You should be thinking about this stuff too. The two carries of the enemy team in mid to late game are going to be Syndra and Caitlyn because the Renekton will fall off, the Lee Sin will fall off, so that leaves Syndra and Caitlyn. And what are both of those things? Uh, they, they're immobile. They, they both don't have mobility. So Lee Sin's trying to get a kill, does flash. I flash Q as well, by the way. Do get kicked. Orianna nearly dies to the kick there for the, me bouncing in. We do get the kill, which is fantastic. I think I'm going to rotate to top lane and try to get the Renekton. We'll see how that goes. But yeah, both of them are immobile. And then you've got a, or a Vi and a Malphite. So that's the kind of thing you've got to keep in your head. Unfortunately, Karma overstays a little bit. We're now moving into the Renekton. Throw my Q, which I arguably I didn't really need to. My, Malphite whiffs. I managed to latch my ultimate just in time. And yeah, arguably Malphite does steal that kill, unfortunately. Um, but there we go. That was a nice little kill there. Does recover top lane a bit, but Malphite does whiff his ultimate. And obviously, that does make me nervous in this game. I played this game earlier today, and I was like, uh-oh. Uh, if he's missed his arguably first ultimate, that's not a great sign. Um, you know, for the rest of the game, but we'll see. Uh, item build wise, Lucian does die again, but he gets a return kill again. By the way, if you look at that minimap, he is trying to 2v1. He keeps doing it and it's not paying off. He got the Yumi then because the Yumi took the tower aggro and then I guess didn't realize and died to the tower. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know why he keeps trying to do that. Uh, Caitlyn also, by the way, kills the Orianna that tries to help the Lucian. So yeah, game's looking rough so far. At the uh, 10 minute mark, Neely. Again, in the grand scheme of things, the kills is 11-8. The problem being, the two people that, you know, scale well, have good late games, are the two people on the enemy team getting strong. If it was like Lee Sin getting the kills or Renekton getting the kills, I'd be like, okay, that's a pain, but at least they fall off a little bit. 
these two don't. So it's like, oh god, uh, that's annoying. Because Caitlyn is, I'd say, weirdly, an underrated AD carry. I know people play her in that, but I... I know a lot of people don't group her in the same sense with Kaisa and stuff like that. She is really good. Like, she's relatively safe because she's got high range. Her mobility, yeah, she's immobile, but she does have some mobility. And Malphite, by the way, had a clear chance to leave this. Um, he saw the um, Syndra for quite a while, but he didn't die yet. Uh, the enemy team is tanking tower. Renekton had to leave because he was tanking it too much. Syndra's nearly dead. Renekton nearly dead. Uh, I'm making my way. Karma, again, doing pretty well this game. Roaming to top lane to try and help out. Uh, Malphite trying to delay. He's got his ultimate in 13, so it's unlikely that's going to happen. And uh, Karma's going to try and get it. Mm, doesn't kill the Syndras yet. And then this teleport ruins my day. I'm like, okay, time to leave. But then we've got the Yumi speed up. IQ, and I whiff my Q. Hands up 100%. And, well, you're about to see somebody go, how's your intake? No. Basically, I knew I was dead. You know, the Caitlyn even had ultimate. Sometimes when you 100% know you're dead... Just die. Like, if there's nothing else to gain, you're not distracting anybody or anything, just die, because that means you also respawn quicker. Um, you know, they, they didn't need a flash to kill me. They didn't need to do anything. I was 100% dead. Yumi dies the tower again. So I just let them kill me straight up. So I'm now 0-3-2. Orianna dies in mid lane. And I don't think, yeah, no one died in the top lane situation there at all. Lucian is trying to 1v1 the Lee Sin. Let's see how it goes. Will he die? Karma's in the area and Karma will just take the kill for now. Which, by the way, I'm okay with because she's actually having arguably the best game out of all of us. Uh, Lucian again, kind of with his crazy play this game. I really don't know what was going through his mind. Was thinking about trying to 1v1 the Syndra there and he nearly dies. But luckily he did survive. Item build wise, did to complete my warrior. I do think I didn't go for like the standard Vi build. Um, so standard Vi build would be warrior and then into Triforce. I don't think I go Triforce this game because it's not warranted. Triforce is great when you're having a even an average game, but an average to good game. This is a rough game. You know, I've died three times. Yeah, I've been involved in two kills, but it's it's rough. I'm not ahead of the least in opponent right now. So let's just go for something a bit more defensive. And uh, hopefully we can just win by utility and objective. So we're going to go for the Renekton. There is 3v1 right now. Renekton's ulting in the bush. Going to go for the play. He is going to uh, get away. We do double ultimate. Could have stacked it a bit more. Unfortunately, Lee Sin is here at the perfect timing with the W, with the healing from Renekton. They will uh, end up survive the Renekton. And Karma, I believe, will also go down. At this time, I just base because it's like, well, we're, everyone's dead. So, again, another play that is unfortunately turned. That kind of seems the, the premise of this game. Lucian dies again in a 1v1 to the Syndra. Is we go for plays, we try to do stuff, but then unfortunately, it gets countered every time. But the thing that you've got to keep in your head, and I, what I like, you know, people really like the Swain episode, which I'm glad to hear. Um, people didn't mind the Ari one um because it was it was really close and i think some people just defended the yasso which is whatever um is never give up you know if you know you can win if for example if i was on the team that had early game presence yeah it's harder not to give up because like your whole team comp is for early game like for example because some people like examples you have pantheon top Lee Sin jungle uh talon mid uh draven and a anything a janna bot lane or whatever pike that is a relatively early game team comp they, they there's late game elements in it obviously because every team comp will have some but that is very heavily early game um that's harder to then go let's not give up where if you've got like this your malphite outscales your vi outscales and then things get a little bit interesting when it comes to them being immobile yeah don't give up the Swain episode was a great example of that. The Ari one was a pretty close one. And by the way, I'm thinking I'm going to try and steal this. What I didn't realize and what we don't know right now. So I'm like, I'm going to time it in my head. Yeah, Caitlyn's helping over the wall. I, in the game, didn't know that was happening. So I was like, right, I'm going to time it. And I was about to go in with because in my head, I was kind of like, right, Lee Sin damage. I'll work it out. Try to go for the steal. And then it died quicker because Caitlyn was attacking. I had no idea. It was unfortunate. Orianna potentially getting caught. Lee Sin will go for a flash. Renekton gets a kill on Malphite, which is quite unfortunate. Uh, little play happening here. Lee Sin trying to go for a 2v1. Will get ulted. Then goes down by the Lucian, so that's something. Uh, Malphite, again, died in the 1v1, which isn't great. He is nearly half farm, but again, it is a support main, um, which, you know unfortunate that you know you're given top from memory in champions like the guy was like pref mid but but okay in top but like shouldn't he if he said like pref support i don't know 
Uh, Lucian does get caught out. Again, uh, he will just go poof. I'm making my way in. I'm just going to go for the Yumi because she's tanking the tower. So I know she's dead to the tower. Going to try and survive. think I do die by the red buff and ignite of Yumi uh, combination. So again, rough game. We're getting pushed in. The enemy team, and again, what the enemy team are doing good with, by the way, so far, they're using the advantage of the early game like we spoke about earlier. If you're an early game team comp like this kind of team is, uh, by the way, this was very confusing to me. <sighs> this this example of a Malphite is just someone that doesn't know the strength of the champion because they don't play the champion. That's that right there. Syndra will go down to the tower and uh, the others will survive. So, so far, so good there. Um, but yeah, this is why if you, if you main one role, you should have at least one champion in every single role that you could easily say, I know that champion, I know the strengths and weaknesses of that champion, I know the power spikes of it, and I'm confident to play it in my current rating. If that's not you, and you don't have one champion in every role, I'd say be very careful of playing ranked, because again, this is where you get bit in the butt. But again, still holding onto the game as much as possible. So yes, does confirm, we don't go for Triforce, I think... I think I might go for a dead man. Because um, dead man is quite effective. Because I'm already in the back of my mind thinking, you know, Caitlyn's strong, Leeson's strong right now, Renekton obviously. Um, but also the utility of the movement speed could be very good. Um, because the, the, the Orianna has three options with her ultimate. She has one option, just ult whenever she wants to. Two, she can ult with an, a Malphite ult. Or she can ult with a Vial. There's three options, three main options anyway, uh, that we can do. So that's not a bad thing. Um, with the options of mid to late game anyway. So I will just continue doing a bit of farming. That ward timing actually freaked me out, but then it was randomly our own ward. Uh, didn't realize. Mid lane, they are getting caught again. The Lucian is now on eight deaths. Uh, I'm just kind of farming here, but we do, I think, decide to go for the uh, Renekton. I do miss my Q, but the Renekton damage at this point is just very strong compared to the Malphite. Um, I don't think he's done the right build. I do manage to get do the old Wahoo escape. Uh, but yeah, the Malphite build I think was uh, misguided. Yes, he's going for a Gauntlet, which isn't a bad item. But I think the Sheen is making him way too squishy for this game. And again, that is the decision making of someone that doesn't play Malphite. Which again, he just doesn't play it. He should have just gone for a Sunfire, be beefy, be tanky. That's what you're looking for if, if, to survive a Renekton at least. you know. And when Renekton is free enough to go Spira Shoujin first or second item... Yeah, he's at a free lane, um, which is a bit worrying. Anyway, the enemy team, two, the bot lane does die. They will get a return kill on the Renekton, but Lee Sin gets a return. I think he got one on Karma with a shutdown, potentially, because the Karma's having a good game. Um, Baron is up on the table. We are going to go for the Syndra. Don't know what she is doing. You know, she's completely alone at that point. So she will kind of get wombowed and killed. And yeah, things will settle down for now, I, I believe. Um, and we are moving into, you know, the 18 minute mark, which is kind of mid game. You know, the stages of the game, early game is lane phase practically, maybe a little bit of roaming thrown in here or there. Mid game is kind of when the, the, the lane phase ends. So some people might still be in lane, but other people are swapping round. Uh, objectives are definitely in people's minds. Uh, you know, that's the kind of aspect there. And then late game is when Baron is on the table. And, you know, Baron spawns at eight, uh, 20 minutes now. And, you know, late game can be 20 minutes. Uh, it depends. Like, late game in some games is earlier than others. It just depends how the players are playing. If, if all the players stay in their own lane phase for 20 minutes, which I've been in the game like that, then you're still kind of in early game. Uh, it just kind of depends what's the mood of the game. And this game is my team is kind of staying in lanes. The enemy team is being more mobile. And the reason for that, they are an early game team comp. And they're trying to punish. And they're, they're, try, they're trying to use their lead. But again, remember, but like the kills, 25 to 18. It's not an astronomical lead. What basically it is, is two main people feeding. You know, I've got four deaths, which isn't good. Same as the Karma. Oriana's got three. But then you've got eight on Lucian, which is a lot. And then six on Malphite. That's the main difference. If, if those two were four and four and one and three, the kill lead would be relatively, you know, even. It wouldn't be crazy. It, you know, it's not crazy, if we're honest. Uh, Orianna does a nice little damage there. I was going to go for a Q, but I didn't, uh, you know, didn't go for it in the end. Leeson doing a bit of comboing. Malphite gets caught again because, you know, he can just get one shot with that build. The Gauntlet was way too greedy. Orianna's going to kill the Leeson, or I kill the Leeson. Thinking about it, I do go for it. Maybe that was misguided. Do get ignited by the Yumi. Gonna try and survive. Karma shields me, which is nice. 
and we will decide it back out. Uh, Kaden was thinking about it, but there we go. I do survive for now. Enemy team is staying. The reason why these guys are staying very low health there is look at Renekton in the bot side. More pressure here equals free pressure for this guy trying to break and not crack the base. Lucian go for a bit of return damage. Hopefully he doesn't go too forward. I will then decide to go, right, I need to try and stop this guy because I don't want to try and get him, you know, an inhibitor. I can't kill him. Pretty safe to say. And if he decided, I think he could just all in and kill me. Uh, but at least I make him back off for now. Uh, but he will stay in the area because his top side has not backed off. In order for this to work, you need this to be, a, like, exist. Uh, Orian has taken over now, so I'm then going to jump over the top side. They break the base, unfortunately. Malphite's got ultimate in about 15 seconds from memory. And yeah, rough game. 20 minutes in the game. They've already broken into our base by twice. Two things. Two, two uh, entrances are now open. So again, game's looking pretty grim. A lot of people in solo queue would 100% have given up by now. Because again, 8 death Lucian. More than double farm Renekton and a 1-7 Malphite. That's pretty poop, right? Sucks. Uh, but again, in the weird thing about like Diamond 1 roughly MMR is... Comps matter a lot. Uh, you know, players matter a lot, obviously, but comps matter a lot because you use your comp to your advantage. And at this rating, people are pretty good. Uh, so I'm thinking, you know, Renekton again, but then I also see, boom, they're starting Baron. So it should be any moment I, I kind of realize I can't stop you anyway. I'm going to go for the Baron. So Malphite will ult a little bit late. Let's Karma die. Uh, enemy team, you know, Yumi, I do not know why she jumped out at the time she did. At least in leaving the Baron pit. Caitlyn's staying on the Baron. I jump in, do a bit of damage. Orianna gets the kill. I go for the Syndra. She does Zonya's it, and we will back away. And the enemy team, I believe, has stopped the Baron at this point. Renekton flashes for me. I'm going to try my best to survive because it's quite important, and I think I will survive. Uh, I, again, by the way, I'm actually happy with that path thing. If I went that way and I went for the movement speed of Orianna uh, W, I actually think I would have died, uh, weirdly. Um, so the enemy team, it, it's actually a roughly even, like, Three of, four, three of them die, and I think three of us die. So in actual, like, a team fight, it was actually kind of close, surprisingly. But then Karma, I think, was a little bit too confident of her own good because the Caitlyn is very fed, and I don't think the Karma realized. So she will go pop, uh, even though it was quite close getting the return kill. So again, not bad. If, again, if you think of, like, the long term, right, we're only at 20 minutes. We outscale. If, you know, if things go right, we outscale. Um, you know, a 3-for-3 three three team fight around the Baron isn't actually terrible. And obviously, yeah, that was kind of a 3-for-4 now that Karma died twice. But it's not like the end of the world, uh, which is the thing that you got to hold on to. Um, you know, it's it's anything, not even just League, in life, hope, right? It's, you know, the Jedis and all that, they, they, it's hope. Give people hope and they will try to do stuff. That's kind of what League is. You give hope and a reasoning for hope, there's always a chance of winning. Um, which is, I guess, like, potentially a lesson that everyone could use. So we're doing Dragon, and instantly Baron is on my mind, because I'm like, mm, they could be doing it. Um, they tried to do it before, so if they've already tried to do it once, it's likely that they're going to try and do it again. And I believe right now they, they probably are trying to do it. Uh, so yes, you can see the effects are going off. Karma is baiting. She does get a Yumi ultimate pretty early, so that's not bad. I'm over here. So we are going to go for the Baron. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm going to try and steal it. I go for it. Get kicked out. Orianna ult coming through. I get the ultimate off. And I get the smite steal. So that worked out really good. Right now I should have backed away. Uh, I was a derp and I didn't realize Yumi was on the Renekton. But I stole the Baron. That was a really nice little steal there. And these two will survive as a Baron buff. So again, that's a nice little turn. Um, the reason why I could steal that, by the way, is I think it was a good um, Orianna ult. I think Lee Sin might have been dead, or it was very close to him being dead when the Baron was about to die. Or at least, you know, in smite kind of territory, he was busy getting ult uh, Orianna ulted, so I guess his full concentration wasn't on the Baron. Where My full concentration after pressing R was smiting that Baron. Um, so yeah, we stole it, which is nice. But again, the game is still looking a bit grim because now the enemy team is breaking into the mid, and they will also get the mid inhibitor. So all three of our lanes are open. Um, which, you know, is not great. We get, will get one kill, though, on the Caitlyn, which is something. And I believe Renekton will most likely back off. Orianna is going to make chase. Don't know if they're going to get this kill. Maybe. Oh, yeah, I think they do. Renekton going a bit aggressive. He will go down, which is nice. I'm just trying to stop the, the, the super minions in the bot side. Because, obviously, this early in the game, 24 minutes, uh, if these supers get on this tower, it's going to do a buttload of damage to it. So you're going to maintain that they're not killing your base. Because um, all the enemy team really would have to do, if they're really smart, 
group all top blade and let the supers kind of take over our base. That's a, a very obvious thing to do. Um, and they're not really doing it, which is surprising. <coughs> Excuse me. So Oriana, by the way, doing quite well now. So like top lane is hardly not, he's like more than double, way more than double now. Mid lane is getting to that double stage. This Syndra is not farming well. well. Why? Again, that does come in one of my weaknesses as being a mid laner. Is when you're grouping, especially with an AD carry, the AD, ta AD carry takes all the minions because they just crit and kill all the minions before you can do anything. So I really think the Syndra is struggling to maintain high farm when they're now grouping, where Oriana is actually doing a really good job. And Lucian, yeah, his farm's a bit low, but he's getting there. Um, my farm, I'm happy with. We are beating the Lee Sin. KDA-wise, it's actually very close between me and Lee. He's died once more. Uh, he's got two more kills, but I've got three more assists. So in actual, like, jungle use, it's, it's roughly even between me and him. We knew Syndra was there, by the way, so we will go for the kill. I go for the ult on the Caitlyn. Unfortunately, somewhere the, um, somewhere the Oriana ult was used, not really sure. But we will get all those kills, which is really good. So again, another little comeback. The enemy team, as we said, is not grouping. For whatever reason... Uh, maybe they're scared of the Wombo. Maybe there's miscommunication. No idea. Uh, but they get caught out. And for a one for three, very worth. And what that also does, obviously, you know, the obvious is one, you get the kills. Enemy team's dead. So you're getting gold. The enemy team isn't. Two, we're a scaling comp, arguably. So that delays the enemy team being able to do anything. But the, the other thing that a lot of people don't think about, that gives morale. Team morale is very important. Um, and that's a great thing to have is, you know, hey, we got three people for one. That's good. Really good. Um, you know, if Oriana had uh, Sonya's there, she would have arguably survived. But she's gone for a very hyper-aggressive build as Oriana. Mainly because she knows she probably has to carry the game. Um, with damage, at least. If me and Malphite can provide at least the utility and hold people still, then Oriana, in theory, with that build with the big ultimate, can kill everything. Because the enemy team is actually pretty squishy. Uh, Syndra squishy, Caitlyn squishy, Yumi obviously, Lucin's actually pretty squishy, and Renekton, for a top laner anyway, can be pretty squishy. I'm looking for like, why am I here by the way? Thinking, the enemy team have to be going top lane. Like logically, that is where they should be going, but they're never going together. Like there, there was three people, don't know where Lee Sin was, I think we saw him around here on the minimap. Renekton was in mid lane, so they should be top lane. Right now, you know, the Renekton, again, alone, and I'm like, okay, we're probably going to go for this kill. Now, we get the Malphite ultimate, we're going for it. We are going to kill him, he goes for a flash, he's trying to all in, it's not really going to work that much. All five of us kill him. <sighs> Part of me was thinking, is that worth? You know, again, it does delay the enemy team, it slows them down, but that's a, that's a dragon that we're probably going to be giving away. And that's also now that we don't have a Malphite ultimate for a potentially upcoming team fight. So it's like... Don't really want to fight the enemy team right now. Like, even in a 4v5, it's risky without Malphite ultimate. Um, so, like, if it's worth if nothing bad happens in the next, like, a minute or whatever Malphite's ultimate cooldown is. And, yeah, nothing. So, we just, we lose the dragon for it, which is annoying. But, whatever. You also can see in all these kind of little picks that we're getting, the enemy team being split. Look at the Lucian's KD8. It is creeping creeping back to being neutral it's still a bad kd 810 that's way too many deaths for an ad carry but it is creeping back to being okay uh which is a good sign uh because obviously again you don't generally want just one person to fall carrying you know on you know the oriana because if she gets caught she dies the game's over um i'm looking now for a pick potential here by the way if the enemy team group mid which again they're probably going to do um Let's see if we can go for it. So again, remember, Syndra is immobile. Caitlyn's immobile. We have a Malphite. We have a Vi. I'm looking for it here. I'm thinking about it. But uh, we won't We you know, won't pull the trigger yet. So Karma and Ori over here. Three people are here. And I think some people might be over this way. I'm, I'm a bit concerned about her positioning. Because if I go for it, then she has to flash over. So I do, by the way, decide to go for it. And I will say, just point it out very clearly. I go for the engage. And literally at the exact same time, an engage happens here. So it's like... <laughs> that's just annoying timing. It's like cartoon timing. Anyway, so Malphite's going to go here. Caitlyn's going to get one banged. Here, by the way, I survive. And they will get the double kill. Renekton, again, reminded people, was bot lane. So he's not being useful at all at the moment. We'll go for the Lee Sin. Malphite's going for that. We will end up killing, I think, everybody. Triple kill. And we kill four of them. So there you go, everybody. This game, we are so far turning very well. Renekton... It, honestly, if I was on the, the blue team, I'd be extremely annoyed at Renekton. Like, 
massively. The last five to ten minutes, I don't think the dude has grouped at all. He's a massive teamfight presence. And yes, the argument to that is, oh, are we really going to group against a Malphite Oriana Vi combo? The answer is yeah. When you are so far ahead, like the enemy team was leading this game, they actually technically, well now, now we're even, but they've, up until this point, they have been leading this game, items ahead, gold ahead, uh, two, you know, two mountain dragons for killing towers, and they didn't group. They didn't use their advantage at all. They could have, even with our Wombo, they could have just ruffled us. They were too far ahead, but they split, they got caught, the Renekton kept splitting and not really achieving that much, to be honest. Uh, not enough, anyway, I think is the best way to describe that. And now the game is turned, you know, we're actually now a little bit ahead. And the thing that we've always said, it's not just being ahead, it's also momentum. It, you know, you can be ahead behind in gold, but win the game if your team gets the momentum of the game. You know, get that one kill, and then you get them, you know, you kill the AD carry twice in a row. That AD carry is going to get demoralized, and your AD carry or whoever kills them is going to get, like, a buff. It's like a, it's a mental buff. It's important. It's really important in the world of League of Legends and in, in video games in general. I was thinking about an engage here. I decide against it, I believe, because it's like, I don't want to go too deep. There is still a tier 2 tower here uh, that I don't really want to dive. Uh, I'm kind of expecting maybe some type of flank play. If we go frontal, then, you know... Uh, what you're about to see is an unfortunate, by the way, thing. So watch the ball. That's the thing I want people to go on. Watch, ready, whiffed ult. So that was a pretty unfortunate whiffed ult. And what we should do right now as a team, 100%, back the hell away. Unfortunately, we don't. Lee Sin gets a little bit of a nice pick there. I'm going to go over to protect the Lucian. We're going to try and kill the Renekton. Me and Malphite jump on the Caitlyn. She will go down. I get absolutely completely bombarded by the Syndra, and right now it's a roughly even team fight. Two people are dead here, enemy team, one person dead, but again, we still have the momentum with Baron, etc. If the if the fight ends now, it's not too bad. Lucian does E in, bit nervous about him, but again, what they should be doing, really, I think is back off. Um, you know, that Orianna ultimate, you can see how important it is not to whiff that ultimate, and that is why I'd be more comfortable, uh, this was inting, like 100%, no idea. He just E'd, while he had tower aggro, into the tower, yeah, I, I can't tell you why he did that. Um, but that's why I'd actually want the Orianna not to use her ultimate to engage. When you have the likes of a, Le a uh, Malphite, nicely Sin Kick, oh Q. When you have the likes of a Vi and a Malphite, you don't need to use your ult to engage as a Ori. It's too risky. Uh, unless you're 100% it's going to land, I wouldn't bother. And I think that's a great example of that. So again, she's played well. That's like her first big mistake in the last like 10 minutes. But it's worth noting because... In the end of the day, Orianna is the late game god of killing like everything with an ultimate, or at least enabling everything to die. But you have to land that ultimate. But again, the game has turned spicy. We're over 30 minutes. Uh, so again, we are, I'd say, in late game territory. Uh, very much so. Um, so scaling wise, Renekton has definitely fallen off. Lee Sin damage has fallen off. Um, you can see he's bought a GA. The, he's buying tank items because he's just going to go utility tank now, the Lee. He has to. Um, you know, I've gone tanky this game, but I probably am doing more damage than the Lee. And I, I actually will say, at the end of the game, I did do more damage than this Lee Sin. And neither of us did a lot, but I did do more damage than him, even though he definitely did a lot more in the early game. He did get, you know, outscaled. And farm-wise, we're actually doing pretty good with farm. Uh, and now the dragon is coming up, and we're going to probably try and pinch this dragon, which would be great. Because, you know, dragons, that would actually give us technically the dragon advantage. Not smiting it, by the way, on purpose, because I don't want to smite it, because blue smite is actually quite important for slows and stuff in the mid late game, surprisingly. Uh, thinking about a pick in the, in, in the mid lane if Syndra was out of position or anything, because, you know, that whole team fight, yes, Caitlyn got one shot, but Syndra is, is still vulnerable. And we have to kill one of them, right? So they have a two very fed. It's, it's like what we said earlier. It's not just because I know this happened, but it is the two people that you didn't want to get fed in the mid late game because they have strong mid late games is Syndra and Caitlyn. But again, what they are is immobile. So we are thinking about another team fight. Looking here, you know, Vi Q, uh, Vi ultimate onto the Syndra with an Oriana ultimate. You can see I'm charging it, looking for it. I think we decide against it. Um, Renekton again is split pushing. I do get Lee Sin Q. We'll just go back a little bit. I, sh I shouldn't have walked into that bush because that did show Malphite. But here we go. We're probably going to go for it any second. I go for it. Ult uh, the Vi. Have the Malphite with me. We do get the GA instantly. Doing a bit more fighty fight. Oriana whiffs her ultimate for the second team fight in a row, unfortunately. If you didn't catch that. Uh, she, yeah, she ulted the wrong time for when Caitlyn respawned. And to be honest, she shouldn't have tried to do that for Caitlyn. She was dead. 
Um, so again, second team fight in a row that unfortunately Oriana mucks up a little bit. Uh, and that will be a bad team fight for us. But again, the second team fight that we just completely take out the Caitlyn of the game. So it's good that we're taking Caitlyn out. We just need the Oriana ultimate to do the rest. Because uh, me and Malphite are handling the main, you know, Caitlyn threat. But we just need that Oriana just to not whiff. <laughs> two, two team fights in a row, she kind of whiffs the ultimate, which is very unfortunate. So the enemy team is low on uh, mana here. They are being a bit greedy. They want to overstay. Oriana's damage again, level 18 being very high. Uh, she's two levels up on the Syndra. They shouldn't let this go for free. They do, uh, but now they definitely should be looking for some damage. Oriana Ultimate comes in. Uh, Lee Sin very close to dying. Renekton will die one. They should continue chasing this, by the way. Malphite about to respawn in 10 seconds. Does have teleport if we wanted to go for something. But again, we get a return kill, but that doesn't open up again another two inhibitors, which is unfortunate. So again, things are going fine. Scaling, we're doing better. We're, we're denying the Caitlyn the game. We just need those Oriana ultimates to one of them. One big one being on point, and boom, the game's okay. So we are thinking Baron, by the way, because Karma did a good job stopping two champions, because that's Yumi and Syndra stopped. Oriana is also going to do a cheeky play. Don't know why she didn't W, by the way. That could have been a kill. Uh, but we are straight on the Baron. We will go for this, because I, I do think it's generally free, because we were denying the basis of the enemy team, which is really good. And is Lee Sin going to risk the steal? Technically, he probably should, but he decides against it. Cheese play happening from the enemy team. They're going all in. I think what they didn't expect, though, was how quick we did the Baron. So they double teleport. But now, the enemy team is definitely, you know, worried. I get caught by a trap, but don't worry. Gonna go for it. I flash. Go for the Syndra. Yumi jumps to the Syndra at the wrong time. Gonna keep on chasing the Caitlyn. Gonna do as much as I can. Getting slowed. Gonna try go for it. Malphite. Boom. There's the ultimate. There's the Syndra dead. There's the Caitlyn dead. There's the Yumi dead. And wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Now it's time to push into the enemy base, and all that is left in at 36 minutes, the two people alive are the two people that have fallen off in terms of scaling. So uh, this potentially is the end of the game, and uh, what a game. Again, it's the type of game that I do wish I continued commentating, and I don't, you know, but I will also make the point, if I didn't stop commentating and just kind of concentrated on the game... I don't think we would have won. I don't think I would have got that Baron steal. I don't think I would have done a several things that ended up really good. I deny the Lee Sin is Q there. He does kick me into the Karma. Renekton going all in. We kill one of the base towers. Lee Sin does go down. Oriana whiffs her ultimate again, unfortunately. Renekton will go down to the Lucian. Lucian, by the way, recovers his KD. And there is a nice return to victory. So again, we're going to title this video most likely. The early game isn't everything on Vi because it's not. It's more important the late game if the team that gets ahead in the early game doesn't use it like you guys saw they were so far ahead and they were splitting they were getting caught here and there but anyway that's gonna be it i don't have anything to go here so you just have the black screen the void uh, but yeah if you guys did enjoy throw a like on the video throw a comment throw a subscribe i'll see you guys next time peace